Well, I asked you, my community, who would win in a tournament of all the DBD antagonists, and here are the results. I started off this community project immediately upset, because my main in every emetophobic's worst nightmare was the first to be defeated in round one, by an embodied mass of off-pitch choir singers known as the Dredge. How could my dear Adiris lose to something that uses the equivalent of a limp noodle for its M1 attack? I was sure that the Plague's Corrupt Purge could have melted the dredge in an instant, and she would move on to round two with relative ease. But then, as I was ranting into the fog, I realized you, the community, were probably right, considering that in order to get her Corrupt Purge, Plague would have to depend on getting the dredge sick to force him to cleanse, which probably could not happen, considering the dredge already looks like the flu virus incarnate as a DBD character. This would then mean that our favorite Babylonian priestess would likely be stuck with only one corrupt pool, which she'd have a tough time getting to with the dredge being able to cut her off at the nearest locker. If she did manage somehow to get to it, the dredge could just channel its inner Dwight and wait it out inside of a locker, only to pop out, slap her with its al dente mantis arm, and then absorb her into itself. So the dredge comes out on top against Plague. Next up, we have our resident MacGyver and Bacon Lover against a walking Rorschach test. It became very clear very quickly that despite Amanda's engineering and stealth skills, she would be no match for the artist and her entity-empowered ink and crows. The community has spoken. The artist wins this round. Our next matchup is the Onryo, whose primary ability went bankrupt along with Blockbuster, versus the one who haunts the dreams of teenagers. Yes, thank you, random tournament bracket generator, for making this matchup awkward. Thankfully, for our resident jump scare enthusiast, not only is the entity still nostalgic for VHS, but since she probably doesn't dream, Freddy wouldn't be able to lay a hand on her. And though she might not be able to eliminate him, the community mostly agreed that she'd be ultimately the one to come out victorious. Whether you love him or love to hate him, it's the K-pop scream enthusiast versus everyone's favorite stoke mime in William Shatner mask. The community agreed that Trickster's hubris and Spencer gift knives would be no match against the shape's more practical selection of weaponry, immortality, stoic stare, and ability to be the only person on the planet to still look intimidating in a hospital gown. The shape takes home the win for this round. We now come to the emo pin cushion versus the store brand Predator. Always just as effective, but yet somehow still not the same. This one was also no contest. Despite the Wraith's heart, the community did not believe that he could overcome Pinhead's chains. Next up is the man with the overbooked schedule, against a character that distinguishes those who play with headphones from those who do not. I'm not sure how I feel about this one, to be honest. I generally agree with the community, but in this case, I was left scratching my head trying to figure out how an ex-Special Forces officer with a mutated arm, killer shades, and a creepy grin possibly beats out an immortal ghost that can phase in and out of existence, but yep, here we are. The community has voted, and Wesker moves on to round two, beating out Spirit. In what is probably our most fair matchup thus far, we have what happens if the spirit of Halloween became a real boy versus what it is like to play DBD as a turn-based strategy game. Seriously, how did the twins survive as long as they did if only one of them can move at a time? This was a close one, but ultimately, despite their scrappiness, the community did not feel that the twins could beat out Ghostface's cunning strategy and pissed off Psy. So Ghostface moves on to round two. Our next matchup sees DBD's animal cosplayer pitted against the licensed behavior lost in the divorce. I have to agree with the community on this one that the Huntress probably stands a better chance than most to take down the Demogorgon, but without fire to hold it off with, she'd likely be overwhelmed by Demo speed. While an interesting matchup, the community agreed that Demo would take home the win. Next we have the dude with a really, really bad case of acid reflux. Against what happens when your mom makes both you and your friends ghost face Halloween costumes from stuff bought from the dollar store. Despite the Legion outnumbering the Blight 4 to 1, the community felt that the guy who injected Pyramid Head could probably easily handle a squad of four teenagers, as formidable as they are. Blight defeats Legion to move on to the next round. Up next, we have the dude with anger management issues versus Groot's mean grandma. The community mostly agreed. Oni snaps Hag in two and moves on to round two. Next up, we have the guy voted for best personality against everyone's favorite camping enthusiast. The wielder of the great knife was too much for Bubba's chainsaw, and so he falls before the executioner. Now we come to finger licking good against Chuckles. No, seriously, that was Trapper's nickname in the alpha. Since the clown's various tonics would likely do him little good once he gets one of his big clown shoes stuck in a bear trap, the community decided that Trapper would likely be victorious. Next up, we have Clockwork Orange, facing off against the guy who's never told not to run with sharp objects. With the doctor's whole shtick being to inflict pain through electrocution to hinder his prey, and Hillbillies being to endure pain while sprinting with a chainsaw, the community felt that Hillbilly would likely be the winner, though it was a much closer vote than almost all the others so far. This one could go either way, but ultimately Hillbilly moves on to the next round. To close out round one, we have the dude with a busted knee against the genetically engineered super weapon. I mean, this one kind of answers itself, right? And finally, Nurse gets a bye in round one. Which is fitting, because she breaks all the rules of the game anyway. Now to save time and prevent this video from becoming multiple hours long, we're going to speed through rounds 2 through 4. Starting with round 2, Nurse loses the staring contest with Myers and blinks out of existence. Whisker easily beats the dredge within 7 minutes. Onryo decimates the artist for not being kind and rewinding. Pinhead does unspeakable things to Blake. Demo feasts on Ghostface's, well, face. 
Hillbilly runs circles around Trapper. Ani falls to Pyramid Head. And Nemesis is too busy stars hunting, so he gets a buy this round. On to round three. The RE5 boss beats the RE3 boss. Pinhead defeats Onryo, which means y'all have not actually read Sadako's lore. Demo is too much even for Hillbilly and Pyramid Head finally takes down the incarnation of evil itself. We then reach the final four, where Wesker finally loses to a supernatural being, and Demo's hide proves not quite enough to stop Pyramid Head's knife. This brings us to the final round, a tale of two PHs, Pinhead versus Pyramid Head. Of course, there was only one correct result that could have come from this entire experiment. Pyramid Head opened the box, Pinhead came, and Pyramid Head sliced him in half, decisively winning the entire tournament with an average winning margin of 75%. Now, eagle-eyed viewers will of course have noticed by this point that there is a glaring omission from this whole video. The night. Well, you see, that was entirely intentional as a test to catch those who neglected to watch through to the end of the video before hopping into the comments to say, where's the night? Okay, you caught me. The real reason is that the script took me so long to write that Behavior actually went ahead and released an entire other killer in the meantime, throwing off my entire bracket. So for the sake of thoroughness, I conducted one final final poll, where we pitted our champion Geometric Hunk against the newest challenger, Emo Lancelot. And to no one's surprise, Pyramid had easily vanquished the night. In fact, the answer was so obvious that I even wrote it into the script before posting the poll. What can I say? I have the utmost faith in you all to arrive at the right answer, which is definitely Pyramid Head. Congrats, you passed the test. Now, if you enjoyed the video, would you please let me know by leaving a like and comment below, and maybe consider subscribing if you enjoy the content as a whole. And maybe you consider checking out one of my lore videos next. Pretty please? Thanks. As always, you're awesome, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.